We're out today in historic downtown Nevada City. After our success on the Deer Creek log crossing, we wanted to find out what animals are moving right through town, right under our noses. We found a rock with some scat on it just across the creek from Lefty's Grill and we put the wildlife cameras up. And what do we get? Water oozles, also known as American Dippers. Water oozles are super cool, like top five cool. The order goes Public Lands, San Francisco Giants, the Giants the Plate Tectonics, is made of gigantic plates of rock. Jurassic Park, and in the fifth hole, the water oozle. If you like to raft or fly fish, you've probably seen these little guys bobbing up and down on a rock or hanging out at the base of a waterfall. But we had no idea they'd be right here in town. Actually, it's a pair, and we ended up naming them Rachel and Carson. We got them out in daylight on the morning patrol. We got them having flirty little date nights. We also got them in some of their more uh, intimate moments. Here's why the plump little water oozle is so cool. Water oozles are a passerine bird, a perching bird, sometimes also called a songbird. But the oozle is the only passerine bird that can dive and swim underwater. Watch Carson dive in right here. Rachel and Carson live their entire life within the stream corridor. They're like robins, living the life of a loon. And just like a robin, foraging for insects and grubs in your front yard, the water oozle does the same thing, but in the riffles and rapids of streams and rivers. Okay, so remember when Rachel meant Carson and then... <laughs> well, a mating pair means a nest nearby. Rachel and Carson were zipping around so much building their nest, they were almost impossible to find or film. But we did find their nest, tucked up, right below the bridge on Broad Street. So in our episode, the oozle has the nest under the bridge, but in the wild, they're in places like this. And this is an oozle nest right here. In fact, yeah, see that? It's actually, it's actually eggs in there right now too. Water oozles are indicator species. That is, water oozles raising families can indicate the overall health of the ecosystem. That's good news here for Nevada City and Deer Creek. Enough insects to raise baby oozles means good quality water and habitat. Oozles will leave a stream if it becomes degraded or polluted. So if we have water oozles, it probably also means that we have trout. As you can see, We're right next to the freeway. But this water's pretty cold, and my guess is we have a full ecosystem here. Let's take a look. Well, it turns out it's like finding freaking Nemo under the surface right here in town. Oozles and fish aren't always saw moving through town. We also saw raccoons foraging along the bank, ravens, scrub jays and even this great blue heron stalking Deer Creek at night. That's why it's important to protect and conserve all habitat, even narrow slivers right in town. Quality habitat doesn't only live in faraway places like a national park, which means be careful what kind of pesticides you use on your lawn and where you throw that piece of trash. That all ends up in the storm drains, which dumps out right here in Rachel and Carson's front yard. And what we don't want is a silent spring. <laughs>